Hi, I'm Daniel, I'm a sleep physician. And if you have insomnia, this channel is for you. Something for everyone. In this episode, if you have more short-term insomnia, we're gonna look at an email from Henry who overcame his insomnia simply by using the most basic CBT technique, bedtime restriction. If you have more longer-term insomnia, an analogy, we're gonna look at how insomnia can be like a wrestling match where your opponent feeds off of every move you make. Very, very, very excited having you back here. And if you're new to the channel, then a big welcome to you, of course. Now, uh, as mentioned, something for everyone in this episode. Uh, we're gonna look at an email from Henry and talk about how he overcame his insomnia. And then uh, this analogy that I, that I think will be really helpful. Uh, so please stay tuned. So let's move along here. Um, two days ago, I got this email from Henry. I'm gonna read it. Uh, thanks doc, glad I found your site. Retired and I worked in a school. So early to bed, early to rise, 9.30, 10 p.m. to bed, 5 a.m. up. So I had a prescription that caused some, some insomnia, pretty lousy for about a week. Instituted a six hour sleep restriction, worked great. So thanks, Henry. Uh, by the way, thanks for emailing me, Henry. I was super excited to read this. And um, uh, you know, you see here how if you haven't had insomnia for, for very long, the most basic thing, which is called bedtime restriction, can work. And what is that? Well, bedtime restriction works by just limiting time in bed, you know, setting an early wake up time and then going to bed like Henry did, maybe six, maybe six and a half, something like that amount of hours before that, not, not no earlier. So you have a six or six and a half hour sleep window. That makes you stay awake for an extended period of time during the day. You build a strong sleep drive, a strong need to sleep that helps you overcome insomnia. So um, I think this uh, hopefully is inspiring to you if you're new to the channel, it's a basic technique that can really work for you. If you wanna know more exactly how to do it, check out Insomnia Insight, uh, Insight number one. And, and one more quick thing here, um, doesn't necessarily sound like this was Henry's case, but something I see very often in clinic is somebody that is doing fine until they retired. And then they, you know, they're gonna retire, they're like, oh, now I'm gonna finally get those eight hours that I always wanted, but never had time to get. And they can't, you know, they develop insomnia instead. And, and that's simply because they no longer have that thing that, you know, that obligation that forces them up in the morning and therefore they stay longer in bed and they, they have, don't have a strong sleep drive and things start shifting and drifting and they develop insomnia. Classic. A lot of people get insomnia when they retire because they don't have that obligation. So in, if, for many, including people that are retired, um, CBTI becomes a way of like recreating an obligation, you know? So I hope that's helpful for every, anyone that had maybe shorter term insomnia. And now for this analogy that I've been thinking about for, I was gonna say for a while, but that's not true. I, it was really, I think it was this morning that I thought about this, but, but, it's, but it's a spinoff of a thought from Ellen Wormter. Um, if you have not uh, listened to um, Talking Insomnia number nine, that episode, really good one, strongly recommend it, where she says, a lot of people describe insomnia like a battle and she says you don't have to engage like if you can walk away from it you can do better and somehow today i talked I, I i thought about wrestling and and imagining uh a wrestling match where you know in, insomnia is your opponent and, and and your opponent becomes stronger uh at, with every move you make you know it may start off like a kind of you, you feel each other out right and then you go on the attack and you know you try to you, you try you, you go for a takedown you know and the insomnia becomes like bounces back really strong. And then you're like, oh, you, you try this grip and then it goes strong. You try to submit, you try to get your, you know, the, your opponent into submission instead you become in submission. And then you're like in this tight, tight interlock grip. And every, every time you try to fight your way out, it gets stronger, you know? And then some people realize either spontaneously or by using CBTI that the only way out is to loosen your grip. And you, 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 you notice that, oh, your opponent did the same. Okay, I'm gonna loosen my grip even more. The opponent does the same. Finally, you're like completely abandoning even, even you know, trying to submit your uh, to force your opponent into submission, and you see that the less you do, the finally the, the opponent just like disappears. You know, so you know, talking more about this analogy, what, what am I talking about here? Well, um, everything you do to try to sleep more is kind of an aggressive move. You're trying to it forced your insomnia into submission and that feeds the insomnia. Uh, for example, um, trying to go to bed earlier, um, trying to stay in bed in the morning to get some sleep, trying to nap, you know, trying to take a supplement, 
um, even thinking about insomnia, meaning like trying to figure it out. Why did this happen? Well, that's also an attempt at sleeping more because you're trying to figure out why you have insomnia so that you can do something about it so you can sleep more, you know? That feeds the insomnia. Uh, so and why does it feed insomnia? Well, it's because it gets attention. The more you think about insomnia, the more preoccupied you are, the more you try, the, 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 you know, the, the stronger your mind goes into the spinning thing and like you just think about it, it consumes everything. So yeah, the insomnia is just like that. It's an opponent that goes stronger the more you try to fight it. So um, how can you how can you do that? How can you, um, you know, loosen your grip, try to fight it less? Well, it is CBTI. It is spending less time in bed, you know, trying to sleep less, like exploring your beliefs. Is that supplement really helping me? Maybe I shouldn't be taking that. You know, um, not you, you do anything that preoccup that keeps you preoccupied, so you don't even have time to think about how it started or why you have it or what you should be doing. You know, all that stuff is not good. So, uh, again, the less you can do, the less you try, the more you back off from your struggle, the better things get. Hope this is helpful. And um, uh, as always, if you have any comments, please please leave a comment or email me Daniel at insomniainsight.co. And um, just a few more things. Um, and Natasha, who I believe left a comment, or she may have emailed me directly, but but um, struggled for insomnia with insomnia, insomnia for for quite a while. Sounds like she had a you know pretty bad insomnia. Uh, she is gonna talk to me on uh, Thursday, uh, so that's gonna be another talking insomnia episode, just like Audra. And by the way, if you have not listened to talking insomnia number ten. I think that there's a lot of insights there, so please listen to that one. So thank you, Natasha, for, for being willing to talk to me. And um, I have had a conversation with an anonymous um, a viewer that uh, she said I could call her sleepless in New York, so I'm gonna do that. She, um, we've had a long, uh, you know, back and forth, back and forth email conversation that I think holds a lot of good questions and hopefully equally good answers. I'm gonna, I'm gonna share that one. I'm gonna read the whole email conversation uh, maybe Thursday, Friday, or, or some in the weekend here. Um, and then, the fi oh, finally, yes. Um, I, I can't remember which number this is, but there's an episode called Help Me Pen a Book, uh, in which I talk about a book that I was, that I was planning to write. And um, I am going to publish that uh, probably this week or maybe uh, next week. Um, and so that's coming up, and I'll share with you when it's published. Of course, it's it's not, well, for most of you <laughs> hearing this, it's not going to be that helpful. Uh it's it's more a book on um, you know how it's called um, uh, why we don't sleep and why we can't sleep rather and how the wellness uh, industry unintentionally created an insomnia epidemic. It's about how you know these kind of well-meaning advice that you always get like try to sleep more. Um, sleep is super important. If you don't sleep, you're gonna get this and that um, is actually causing a lot of insomnia. So that's kind of what the book is about. So super excited about that. Um, hope to have you back here soon and I um, hope to hear from you as well. Until I see you next time, take it easy.